Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 7th of 2022. Well, it is titled Firefall by Moonlight. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of uh, the waterfall off in the distance and it is a fire. It is a waterfall falling, a water falling off the top down to the bottom there off in the distance. And this is part of Yosemite National Park. And as this falls, it actually happens to be illuminated by the light of the moon. Now often we can see images of this with sunlight when the sun is the right in the right position. But when the moon is correct as well, you can get a nice image here when you have the moon setting just off in the right distance off in the west that it can illuminate off the waterfall as it falls down there making the waterfall kind of stand out off in the distance. And we also see water in the foreground and water is one of the things that we think of as a necessity for life. So where else in the solar system could we possibly be some see something like this. And there is no place else that we would see water falling like this. And in fact, there is no place else that we would see liquid water on the surface of an object. So there is only one object in the solar system that currently has liquid water on its surface and that is of course our own Earth. Now it is true that Mars did have liquid water in the distant past billions of years ago, we would have had flowing water on Mars. So could something like this have been present on Mars in the distant past, but we would be talking many billions of years ago. Currently, we do have water on Mars, but it's either frozen or water vapor. And there are other places in the solar system where liquid water exists out in the outer solar system, but it is well below the surface. And that is some of the moons of the outer solar system, including moons of Jupiter and Saturn that seem to have oceans of liquid water down below their surfaces. So there is plenty of water in the solar system. But to find liquid water like this on the surface of a planet is something very rare. However, we do now know of nearly 5000 planets outside of our solar system. And some of those are Earth like and could have liquid water on their surface. We certainly don't have the technology yet to be able to see which of them might be able to give you an, um, an image somewhat like the one we see today. But there are certainly other possibilities when we get outside our solar system to find something like the view that we get in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for May 7th of 2022. It was titled Firefall by Moonlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be the inner rings. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.